So I'm in this medium security remand jail my first year. You know, my, my parents aren't rich people, but they remortgage their house and come up with money for a lawyer. He's like, look, Sean, we can get you out of the jail. We can go court, have a bail hearing, get your bail reduced, and you can fight your case outside the jail. So I'm getting all excited. Yeah, getting out of the jail. My girlfriend's excited. All my local family show up in court. Uncle, ex-police officer, speaks on my behalf and offers to supervise me. Seems to have gone really well. Except, prosecutor's trying to make her name off the back of my case. She sabotages the hearing. The judge, when he makes his ruling, he doubles my bail to 1.5 million cash only. When your bail goes over a mil, you're automatically reclassified from medium security. To maximum security. I thought these guys were hardcore over here. I was about to get thrown into where it was nearly all murderers. So the night I got moved, it was about two in the morning when I walk into the cell. There's some light slanting in from the day room, but it's dark inside. First thing I notice is it's a two man cell. I think oh, that's an improvement, but I'm wondering why my cellmate is asleep on the top bunk. Because where I come from, people fight over the bottom bunk. So I'm thinking something's not quite right. So I walk in some more. And I start to sense movement on the walls and the ceiling. I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. So I put my face right up to one of the walls to see what's going on. And it's covered in these guys, cockroaches. I've got used to the violence by now. Trying to get to sleep with these crawling on me gave me nervous breakdown. I had to get put on medication to get to sleep. Eight at night is lockdown. Ten is lights out. It's like the cockroaches know just when the lights are about to go out. They start lining up in the cracks in the walls, doing this little movement with the antennae sticking out, like an army waiting to invade. As soon as the lights go out, they just flood the room. Now you've got a choice. You can wrap a sheet around you so you look like the mummy and leave a breathing hole and it does keep them off you but it traps the heat to your body and like I mentioned earlier you've got these bleeding and itching skin infections and bed sores it aggravates that condition so you can't sleep so you end up just throwing the sheet off you and letting them crawl on you now they don't bite they start out tickling your feet your limbs the palms of your hands they try to get in your ears to eat your earwax. It's like honey to them. Is anyone in here asthmatic? Any brave asthmatics? All right, well, check this story out. I've got a neighbor in maximum security who was asthmatic. He wakes up one morning out of breath, grabs his inhaler, takes a blast, <laughs> shoots a cockroach inside himself, says he can feel it moving around. He throws up his stomach contents trying to get rid of it and somehow it's stuck in there and it won't come out. Even in the daytime there were so many, the prisoners were doing cockroach races on the tables in the day room, gambling on the winner. And first thing in the morning you see the fellas come out of their cells with plastic containers, they put peanut butter in to trap them during the night and they'd empty all the dead ones into the trash can of the stairs. It didn't matter how many we killed, they owned the building.